What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC. We're playing some KSP. We are doing a two-part. It's kind of a rescue mission to grab someone who got left behind, a, a group that got left behind uh, in a previous video that didn't end up actually getting made, I don't think. The other part of this is I saw something neat on the Kerbal Space Program's... Excuse me. I saw something neat on the Kerbal Space Program's website. Without further ado, let's crash this fucker. And what it was, what I saw was this neat uh, idea of a split craft. So you can kind of see it here. The, the, the top and the bottom come together via decouplers to make a small return shuttle. So the idea here is to, you know, launch them up into space and then put them together to get the crew from an STS that got abandoned up there, hopefully take some of the fuel from it, etc., and then try and get back and land. So the objective here is, at some point, to have this back end be a reusable rocket. Through its evolutionary stages, it will eventually take the place of these rockets that are strapped to the other side. So what we'll probably end up with is three of these on what they call the vector motors, not the not the aerospike. The aerospike was just on there just through this first design. I literally just finished building this this morning. Um, I tested the, the shuttle itself in Earth's atmosphere, just around Cape Canaveral. So this is the first actual real live fire test, so to speak. Um, Something I remember about these rockets is they will all of a sudden, the speed just comes on and this orbit just shoots out for shit. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this for a second. While we're watching it, do I sound better? Does my voice sound better? I've got a new mic. It really, I've got nothing different other than just a different brand of microphone. I've got a Rode Procaster now. That's pretty good. We're going to set either one of those to target. Good stuff. Separation is good, 115-ish, grows. Okay, I don't want that. I want to stick around 115. Uh, yeah, I got our new mic, so I hope it sounds okay. I hope you guys don't fucking hate it, because if you do, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, yeah, I hope it's noticeable. I hope it's really good. I hope you guys like it like a lot. All right, going to go to prograde. Distance separation is 80 and closing. Perfect. Perfect. Basically, I just want to start accelerating into prograde, start to build, almost build our orbit, and then have it just sort of catch up really organically. Oh, this is really tweaky on the roll. bit of an orbit going. Uh, we're slow on that side, so we're going to be speeding up, which we don't want. I do want to close the gap a bit. All right, so we want to be slowing down. So I have to push this out just a little further. There we go. Okay, I think we are perfect. We're in a position where we are now slowing down a bit. So this should be able to catch up. Fifty-five, fifty. I want to see like twenty something. You know what I mean? Just like a perfect number. All right, now we're going to accelerate towards Apo, I think. This one is 2200, so we're going 50 less. I don't think we're going to catch it. I think this is this is our point of this is our Goldilocks zone, I think, right here. Uh, hello. Perfect. see what that was <laughs> oh oh shit it was it was an rcs thing right here 
Oh shit. Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to glide the front into the back instead of the back into the front. That's just obvious. Okay, we are going at it at thirty, but I need to be like going really at it. That's pretty clean. Okay, we're just gonna spin around because we've got m like more than enough fuel. Yeah, a thousand units. We've got more than enough fuel to basically get this thing right over there and then just break it to zero. And then we'll do our detach, get all set up. Should be good, should be good. Of course, marker's walking way away. Shocker, shocker. meager 14 meters a second it's not very good because this marker is just going to walk away again yeah fuck you <laughs> i hate you so much game i hate you so fucking much okay so we're basically going at it but if i fast forward we're going to lose that so i have to go around again to fucking prograde build up some speed again what a pain in the ass. Speaking of pains in the ass, I get a lot of comments lately, not from you guys. If you're watching this and you've watched up until now the whole thing, fucking whatever, 30 minutes of this bullshit. Sorry, 10 minutes of this bullshit. You're a regular. I'm not talking to you. But if, you're, if you've gotten to here and you're one of the assholes that's going to comment something like, why don't you just script your videos? Why don't you just record in one thing and then do the, the talk over the other? Chain channel. Go somewhere else. I'm so fucking tired of saying the same thing over and over and over again. I do this basically live. This is the the YouTube equivalent of a live stream. I know I know that YouTube does live streaming, but it's bullshit, right? So like, I prefer the sort of organic banter. If I scripted everything, I'd be talking about the news and I'd be talking about just stupid bullshit to just fill time. I'd rather talk about the game or I'd rather just talk about something that pops into my head. You guys come for the banter. I know that because, honestly, the gameplay isn't very good. <laughs> right? If you guys were coming for my MLG skills, I'd have like five subscribers. I have thousands because of the banter. I am certain. I'm certain you guys come to see me fail. You come to see me flounder about because I'm old and I suck at video games. You come for the banter. You come for all of the stuff that comes with doing this live. So if, if you guys are regulars and you see someone make a stupid comment, my regulars are regulars for a reason. I like you guys. I, I don't care if you guys want to defend certain things said, right? If someone just says something stupid, feel free to call them out. I'm not going to like police the comment section. I want you guys to sort of take initiative sometimes, almost like a mod on Twitch. Feel free to my regulars. The, Again, if I call you by name in the comment section, you're a regular. You know what I mean? I recognize your name. I say hey to you guys. I'd wave to you guys in public if we drove by each other in the street. You guys are friends. I trust you. I trust you to help sort of moderate the channel, so to speak. Let's get retroed. How much RCS do we have left? Mono propellant's still good, about halfway through. Coming in two kilometers, we've got enough fuel to break us off, I think. Get this down to zero, or at least close to it. All right, things are loading in. It's weird, that thing isn't even that many parts, but we're down to like 12 frames a second. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll definitely be able to chisel the speed away, no problem problem. Two meters a second. All right. All right. Good. Good enough. We're moving away from that, though. Can I just burn backwards? Maybe and up a bit? Sort of towards it? Okay, I can see it ticking down speed, so we're burning the right way. But we're still going away from it.
okay, we're going towards it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so how do we have to do this? I have to do front first because it has no one in it. Yeah, it's empty, so it has no one in it. Nope. All right, just going to level this guy off a bit. It'll make it easier to rendezvous. All right, we're going to do this. Perfect. Okay. Just going to back away a bit. Just slide out of that sheath. Let's roll her over a bit. Now we just got to quickly go rendezvous with that guy. Set as target. We're going to drive from here. A rat. A rat, a rat, a rat. Just going to drift around this thing. Probably should have just went up and over. I should have just moved that like up a bit and then put it in a stable thing. I could just move this up and just moved it over. This is going to be a little tricky to kind of shoehorn in there, I think. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but good enough. Let's see, can we just fast forward a bit? Just gonna get over here, where's that craft? Still there, good. Is it moving away? Yeah, it's moving away, but I don't care, I don't care. We're so close that it, we're gonna be able to do this with RCS. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Okay, we definitely have to go down quite a bit. I'm almost trying to use the wings as levels. All right, so we are basically coming in right at her. Oh. The RCS is kind of a bitch. This, both of these things have SAS. I wish the SAS and the RCS would act like what is going on here. See this? This is what I'm talking about. The RCS and the SAS don't work in tandem. Oh my fucking god what are you doing what in the fucking holy hell are you doing seriously can you go fuck off dude okay we're gonna dry i'm just gonna level this thing off this thing is fucked so we're just gonna level this thing off and we're gonna fly the other thing because this is this is bullshit this one's just going basically wherever the fuck it wants but yeah, the, the RCS and the SAS don't work in tandem. They work independently at the same time. So the SAS is trying to write the thing using weights, and the RCS is basically just doing just gibberish because it's trying to keep itself level. You saw that. All those jets were just firing basically at random. It's overcompensating one way, and then it's overcompensating back the other way. I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not how NASA does it, <laughs> right? We can bet our bottom dollar that NASA's systems are probably fucking perfect, right? If it needs to burn just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest infinitesimal little spray of RCS, that's what it's going to do. It's not just going to be like, hose, oh, I went too far, got to go back the other way. Hose, okay, now we're doing circles. Hose, oh, we're basically upside down and fucking backwards now. <laughs> this game needs to get its shit to get, I realize it's a game, but like, the people making this game are pretty good at what they do. I just feel like there's a few things they're totally slacking in, and year after year after year, there's still the same problems. It's the same goddamn problems every fucking time. That was quite a silly little spinorama. All right. Oh, we should probably drive by. Did I do this already? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, back. Back, back, back. All right, let's hope and pray this works a little bit better. Um, so that's weird, right? That this has now happened twice, where it just dips down. 
what's going on? Like I would, I would literally cheat right now if I had an option. If I just had a button that I could just be like, dock these two things on these two ports, I would just do it right now. Because this is, this is the kind of shit that just is absolutely, makes me so salty. <laughs> like so salty. All right, let's just get up a bit and then we're gonna break off the upward velocity. I mean, we're in such a good line this way. We just need, fucking stop doing that. I'm like, I'm giving it very specific instructions, but everything's backwards just because of the way this thing's driving. Okay, now watch it dip down. See, why is it doing that? Get up, get up, you cunt. Okay, okay, no, you're gonna connect. You are gonna fucking connect, whether you like it or not, brother. This is happening, whether you want it to. Nope, 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 fuck! Why does it keep doing that? This is making me so insanely salty. This is hilarious. This is so fucked up. Like I, I do realize that I made this really tight, but I'm just, I'm so salty about the fact that every time this thing starts to get, um, why are you moving? Oh, cause everything is backwards. <sighs> <sighs> That was M, not N. Seriously, I'm getting really kind of fed up with this. So this this is a miserable failure. I am not. There is no fucking way I'm uploading this crap. I was all excited about it. Like, oh, you guys, you guys are, you'll, you'll be so excited to play this. This is such a cool idea. There's no way I'm going to do this to you guys. is going to miss again. Okay, just just connect. Like just just connect, please. There you go. See? And I actually got a perfect connect. Wow. Okay, yeah, like I said, never doing this again. Never, never, ever, ever, never, never, ever. Like you couldn't pay me to even take this craft into orbit again. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, control from here, you dirk. You dirk. All right, let's get over there a bit. Are we still going away from it? Nope, we're going at it. Let's just get that a little closer. I want to go kind of by it. Kind of like... So what the fuck are you doing? Just stop. Just, just don't. Just don't. Don't. Thank you. We are going to get because if I, if I, if we connect this thing to that thing, I don't think we can transfer a crew. So we're gonna have to just do simple EVAs. Let's start with Fred, Commander Fred. Um. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. It's like, I don't want to have to press these buttons like 50 goddamn times just to get them to do the thing they're supposed to on the first time. Oh, can I target this? Perfect. Perfect. Normally what I would do is give a little more distance between these crafts and start throwing the kerbals at the craft one at a time. I think I did that in the past in a video uh, that you guys saw where we had like five kerbals in flight all going like one meter a second towards this thing right and then i would just plop them in one at a time as they're getting close it was a really efficient way to go but given we only have 500 meters between us i'm just going to fly this guy over and then we're just going to do movie magic for the other three and i am just going to do them one at a time wowzer <laughs> Got a little hairy. Got a little hairy. We're coming in a little hot there. Fred's a Fred's an extreme sports enthusiast, it seems. Probably downhill skis or something. Or like rides a motorbike. Like Top Gun. Alright, so yeah, let's do a quick movie magic as we get the other three in here. And star wipe. Alright. And little Emily Kerbal. Kerman is the last one out. 
last but not least, the engineer and scientist. I guess engineer, the last one to leave. It would be the commander that would probably be the last one to leave, actually. Should have left Fred till the end, but anyways. Got the last one to go. We're just going to get back in there and get the fuck out of here. I'm so happy to be done with this. Uh, the landing is going to be a little off because I've never re-entered this craft before, so I'm going to re-enter it just like I would that shuttle and kind of just hope that everything goes sort of the same way. This is obviously a much lighter craft, so it's going to decelerate faster. Yes, it'll decelerate faster because it has less mass. So that's going to be very important. Okay, here we go. Let's do a quick save now that we got everybody in here. Cape Curb Navarals on the light side, which is actually really nice. Good. The, uh, the STS-2016 that we've just now completely abandoned up there will probably send like a rescue mission for it. You know, like basically a Soyuz capsule with some kind of fuel tank in tow so that we can refuel it, put a pilot in it, and then bring it down. I guess maybe that'll be like the next video. All right, so that's about right. We're going to point to retro. Oh, I have to activate these guys because for some reason they never activate when you stage. I mean, like sometimes they do, most of the time they don't. It's just, it's weird. All right, beginning our braking phase. We're going to be heavy. We're going to be really, really heavy because we didn't have to do any rendezvousing adjustments so to speak, with the uh, with the, this vessel. I didn't even think to see, like, are we going to hit anything? We almost hit whatever that was. Okay, it looks like we are going to just miss that. I'm just going to turn like this, just in case. I don't want it to clip a wing on the way by. Hawaii. Yeah, that should probably work. Okay, let's do a quick save up here, just so that if we have to just point in a prograde and burn a little bit. Oh, it's our uh, it's our engine from earlier. Bye! Bye! What I should do is put a brain on that thing and make it so it can, um, you know, break into retro to deorbit itself and burn up on re-entry. That would probably be smart, right? That'd be like a smart NASA-like thing to do. All right, we're just going to boogie down. Actually, having this liquid weight in the back might actually be really useful now that I think about it. All right, I was saying the craft is really light, so it's going to uh, it's going to decelerate like quite a bit. But that might actually be good, right? All right, so nose is up just to start creating some lift. Point right at 90. Oh, look at the cool like moon moon set, moon rise. Is it rising or setting? I can't tell, because we're going down, so it might just be an optical illusion. I think it's it's rising. It's got to be rising. That is very cool. Where's the sun? Do we have the sun and the moon? It'd be neat if the sun was, like, right behind. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be a cool picture. Now I'm just talking for the sake of talking. <laughs> I'm just rambling, basically. I'll reiterate what I said earlier. What do you guys think of my new mic? Is it good? Comment below. Rate it 1 through 10. <laughs> Don't rate me 1 through 10, just... Rate my upgrade, 1 through 10. Write a 500-word essay on why you think my mic is awesome. <laughs> I'm kidding. Please don't. I don't want to have to read those. I read every comment. I don't want to have to read a 500-word essay. You see, the microphone was invented in 1896 by Tom Citizen. I don't actually know anything about the microphone. Please don't. Please don't correct me. <laughs> Dear Noldor, uh, the microphone was invented much earlier than Thomas Edison. Signed, Butthurt. I don't want to read it. Okay, what's what's odd, right, is that we've got some lift surfaces. Um, they're pointed quite high. That thing is so close to popping. What is that? I'm so scared. It's an RCS jet, I think. Okay, those RCS jets can pop. I don't give a shit. Yep, go for it. What I can't lose is landing gear, uh, decouplers. I can lose that brain, I don't care. 
but we're slowing down really good. Yeah, we look at we have all this lift surface. It's pointed into like 3,000 miles an hour. We're skimming at 30,000 meters, and we're, we're we're not really creating any lift. What if I did this? This would be a good reason to bring this fuel. Right, not necessarily to like speed up, but just to do that. Right now we're at, you know, a nice um, sort of level flight, so to speak. So let's just pop that. Another thing that pisses me off with this game is when I set the SAS, like right now, I don't know if you can, can even see this, but in the bottom left corner down here, right, you've got pitch. And look how the pitch is basically at nothing right? Nil would be right in the middle, no pitch whatsoever. It's up maybe one fifth, right? But way back there earlier, right? I got the nose really high and the SAS was telling it to go a hundred percent. Well, why isn't it doing that now? Like it, I'm trying to get it to go way up here and to do so myself, I have to basically hold S as hard as I can to get the nose up as hard as I can. The SAS refuses to. It'll just do this. It'll just resettle back down to wherever it wants, and the pitch is barely up at all. So why have the SAS... I, I don't want to say, why have the SAS at all? But why have it if it's sometimes going to work at 100%, and then sometimes it'll just work at 20%? I don't like that. Again, this game has been out for a long time. They have a lot of really good people working with them, and we still have issues like that? Come on. Come on. It's 2016. This isn't fucking Nintendo, right? Like, have some self-respect. People are going to judge you based on the game you've made. So if you care about the game and you care about your own image, uh, do better. I have a lot of criticisms with KSP. It all started with that fucking media campaign they did where it was like, hey, if you're like a big YouTuber or Twitch streamer, let us know and we'll give you early access to the games. And I'm like, yeah, I meet your requirements. And they're like, oh, yeah, but you swear too much. So, of course, my expletive, FU-ridden reply to them probably just got deleted and I probably got blocked. So now every time they do something on Twitter or Facebook that I don't like, I comment and I tell I get sour and salty about it. And I'm like, you know, especially when they do uh, tweets with uh, modded parts, right? I don't care about, like, this shit. Like, Sky, go for it, right? But if you've got, like, a space shuttle that is one part... And it was designed to basically be a perfect thing, a perfect plane. You didn't build anything. You didn't do anything. That's not really playing the game. I think the way you play this game is stock. So you guys know that I play stock. I only did spacey, space Y, whatever it's called, because of a few of the tanks. Not for the engines. I don't think I've ever really used the spacey engines. I think I actually took them out. I don't even think they're in my engine list. I think Spacey comes with some like huge engines that are like super overpowered. I don't want to play that because I'm trying to play this game stock. I'm willing to do mods for something like a fuel tank because it's just kind of silly and redundant. But obviously I wouldn't do, you know, mods for like weird wings or uh, command pods or, 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 you know, weird shaped fuel tanks and stuff. Like I prefer to play the game stock. I like the idea of tweak scale, you know, using stock parts, just making them smaller or bigger. But again, it's not something I want to really do. Because I try and keep this shit clean, and it pisses me off when the official channel is constantly pushing mods, but refuses to, like, implement any of the good ones into the game. Like, fuck you. Get out of here. Don't show me someone's awesome, like, Mars colony if you're not going to give me the fucking option. You know? Make it an official mod or shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's basically been my sentiment for a long time with with the official KSPs. I'm just butthurt and salty about everything they do, but nothing they've ever done has made me not want to play the game, obviously. Um, so it seems like we did it. You know, we got this thing down. We, we came down a little late, or early, sorry. We, we need to push that line out because we pushed it out way past Hawaii. So that was like 20 miles, 30 miles out. I have to push it out like another 40 or 50, I think, to get any kind of semblance of, of uh, like a normal re-entry. You know, a normal re-entry would be not having to use these motors at all. That would be really nice. But, you know, that... 
in a perfect world. Okay, I'm in think mode. I'm doing some major thinking here. Okay, we've got brakes on. Speed's good. I mean, this thing can glide at like 50 or 60. I noticed that during my test flight earlier when we just sort of soared this thing around. Because it will take off like a plane if you just leave it like this. All right, going to touch down. Boink! Oh, what in the fuck? What in the fucking what? What? Why are you doing this? Why is it all over the road? Okay, so it has that bug again where if you don't put... Like, see how this is sloped upwards a little bit? This is actually curved, right? So if you put a wheel on it and the wheel isn't perfectly level, it does what you just saw. That's another fucking bug that they have to fix that has been a bug for, like, a year, as far as I know, where if the wheel isn't perfectly level... Again, what I mean by level is completely flat. It's it's going to bork around, right? I've got this thing as level as I can, but because I put it on a curved surface and then twisted it to what I thought was level, it's not level to a perfect zero degree. It's like 0. 0.0005 degrees, you know, up at the front, and that causes that bork. So this video is basically just one giant criticism of Kerbal Space Program. As much as I love this game, it dicks around a lot, but we get to do cool shit like this. So that's why I keep playing this game. I'm so torn. I'm so torn. I wish I could just go work for them. Right? I wish they would just shut the fuck up, stop being such prudes, and just let, you know, some people give them advice. Because it seems like they're anti-advice. I've told them about this stuff in emails, bug reports in the forums, uh, uh, my constant bitching on Twitter about broken parts. Like... They can't say, they cannot plead ignorance because they know what's going on with this game. I'm sorry that's turned into a giant ramble, guys. I hope you liked the video for what it was. I hope you, if you agree with some of my points, you know, if you're like, yeah, fuck those wheels. I have that problem every single time. Let me know in the comments. Be like, yeah, fuck wheels, right? Or uh, what else did we talk about? The arrow spikes not staging properly. If that happens to you, fuck arrow spikes. Whatever you want to bitch about, let's make this the video where we get to kvetch about all the things we fucking hate about Kerbal Space Program. We've talked about what we love, but let's talk about what we fucking hate about Kerbal Space Program. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.